Wow, the screen looks beautiful. A. And if you want to press there, you can unmute. Oh, the other kids are wearing their. Um...
Might not have good enough um, internet connection. So when it's ringing, like, that's who's I can see some some girls. I do too. <laughs> oh, I think she took the mute off. Okay, so I should have taken all the girls off of mute, so hopefully they can hear everybody. Okay, can you see her? Yes. Okay, yeah, I can see girls. <laughs> you can see curls? I see curls. <laughs> we just don't know if Layla's on there. We can't see Layla. Let's see. Layla, come here, honey. I've seen chords. This is exciting. More supposed to come in later? Yeah. Thanks. Do you like that way or do you like this one? Um, this one. <laughs> Okay. Oh, you thought you were going to do it in the tent? Yeah. No, it's mm -hmm. afterwards. Get that chair over there. <laughs> we'll lose our connection if we take the computer outside. I don't know how this goes, but okay. Okay, yeah, so girls, we're going to wait for a few more girls to give them a chance to come into the room and then we'll go ahead and start, okay? okay. okay. I see some of you already have some of your forts built up. That's cool. <laughs> yeah. uh, can you tell us if you see Layla? We're a little confused here still. Layla. She has brown curly hair. Yeah. And she's in front of an orange tent. Yeah. Yeah, yeah she's on there. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So Layla, just hold the phone, I guess. Okay. So they can keep seeing you, okay? You can go call in your tent if you want, and they're just gonna wait for more girls. Can I put it? What? You only have two more to earn. I'm gonna do one of them. Um, Ow! Coming Tuesday, and then we only have to earn one more. Maybe Miss Mrs. Cindy will. Oh, look at all these girls. Okay, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get together in the summer. Um, okay, okay, I'll do the pictures a bit longer when they fly on. The person that I'm Listen. looking for is Grace Lynn. Grace Lynn. I was wondering. Uh, these could be the uh, uh, I don't know. Right. We got one more. Yeah. I don't know. Oh. I didn't realize it. Oh, someone's in their tent. They so might not have the camera turned on. I really have to set it up so the video can be done. Wait, those are all. Oh, I had that problem in the first time. Can I 
If you put the, the thing down here, here, it makes that video better. Share screen, share screen, share screen video, but video, but it gives you, it gives you, it gives you options for sharing the video. If you're not supposed to, you can be online. There you are. Looks like the meeting has opened. Twenty-six. How many do you have? Seven. You're supposed to have 26. There's 27. 27 out of close. Where are we at? Oh, yeah. You're still counting you. Hmm? Counting you. That's mm -hmm. Okay, so that's. All right. What time is it? When is this supposed to end? Oh, uh, sorry. Huh? In a minute. So, oops. Say hi, Mary. Don't listen to the dog. Oh, there's Ruby. Ruby, Ruby. Hi, Ruby. Okay, right, so unmute all. Close. You unleash the peoples. Okay. Hi, girls. Can everybody hear and see me? And now we're mm -hmm. Hi. 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 Look at you, everybody. Wonderful, wonderful. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So, I'm going to put the girls on you so they can hear me clear. Clear. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> so girls, we're going to go ahead and start with the promise and the Girl Scout law. And I actually have my daughter, Ashlyn, who is a junior, going to help me out with this today. So if you know the promise, I want you guys to go ahead and repeat the promise as soon as Ashlyn starts. I'm going to switch it over to the the promise right now. Just give me a minute. Okay, I know it's kind of hard to see, but Ashlyn's gonna repeat it. So Ashlyn, go ahead and start. On my honor, I will try to serve God and my country to help people at all times and to live by the Girl Scout law. Okay, and then she's going to say the law. So, Daisies, if you don't know the law, that's okay. Um, you can repeat after her. Let me see. So I don't, let me hold it up a little bit. Okay, go ahead and repeat the first line. I will do my best to be honest and fair, friendly and helpful, considerate and caring, courageous and strong, and responsible for what I say and do, and to respect myself and others, respect authority, use resources wisely, make the world a better place, and be a sister to every Girl Scout. Okay. Next. So, today, girls, we are going to talk about Buddy Camper. And I know that it can be really scary right now with everything that's going on. But we want you to know that we're still here for you and we're still going to offer you programs and we're still going to offer you guys 
as much help and attention we can give. So we're gonna camp inside today. Mm. We're gonna go over a few things, the type of supplies you need to take. We're gonna go over a caper chart that you'll create. And then you're actually gonna build your fort. So our fort is semi done and Ashlyn's gonna finish the last part of it later today. We're also gonna teach you how to do tying knots and you're gonna learn the basic square knot. And in the email that your parents have is in a video from YouTube where you can watch and it shows clearly how the gentleman will show you how to do it. So that way you can keep practicing once the video is done. Okay. So, hold this really quick. <laughs> hey, give me a minute, girls. We're gonna look. Okay. So my name is Natasha. I actually work for the council. I usually do here in Kern County. So you're actually be in my home because you guys are in your home. So if you have people come in and out of your place or you have animals that make noise, like I have a dog, so she might bark at some people, but that's okay. We're all gonna be okay. We'll still continue with the badge. And then this is don't Ashlyn. Do don't Say hi, Ashlyn. Not. She's my junior. So Natasha, we can't actually first. see your screen. You're frozen. Am I? Huh. Yeah. Give it a second to catch up. OK. OK, we can see the curriculum right now. Is that what you're uh -huh. looking at? Okay, great. Yeah. Well, we're at least on the right screen. <laughs> okay. Supplies. Woo -hoo. Woo -hoo. Let's go back. I don't see any screens or else. <laughs> okay. So we're gonna start talking. The first thing that you guys are going to talk about is we're going to talk about where you would want to go camping so ashlyn's going to answer these questions first and then i'm going to unmute all of you and you're going to tell me where you would want to go camping and everything else okay can you give me the okay signal the thumbs up the thumbs up give me a thumbs up if you heard that all right okay. so we can see Good job, girls. <laughs> okay, so Miss Ashlyn, where would you want to go camping? Uh, I would like to go camping at Lake Isabella. Lake Isabella, okay. And oh, let her take a drink of water. And what will we eat when we go camping? Hot dogs and hamburgers. Hot dogs and hamburgers. Okay. And where will we sleep? In a tent. On a mattress. On an air mattress. So what else will we need with that? We need to take a tent, our air mattress, and when it comes to sleeping. A blanket or sleep pillows or a sleeping bag. Definitely stuffed animals. <laughs> Definitely stuffed animals. Okay. So that's what you bring. And then what are you going to do when we get there? You're going to go hiking and do bird watching. You do bird watching? Yeah. OK. OK. So my other daisies, what? where do you girls want to go camping? Go You're camping. unmuted. You guys should be able to share your answers. Where do you want to go camping? Oh, 
you guys all back on mute because I got some of your answers. So this is kind of new to our department doing our programs over meetings like this. So it's kind of echoey. You can probably hear other girls' responses. That's fine. So we're going to pretend that we're going to go camping in Lake Isabella girls and we're going to have hot dogs, hamburgers, and all that stuff, okay? Now, what I want you guys to do, now that we've established where we're gonna go, I want you to get a piece of paper because you're gonna make your caper chart. And I'll show you what my caper chart looks, in a, looks like in a minute. So, your parents should have a piece of paper and a pencil out for you. And we're going to talk about the caper chart. I'll give you guys a few seconds. Ashlyn's eating all my supplies. <laughs> Can you hand me the caper chart, please? I got to plug in my phone. Hold on. Hold it. I got to. I have to plug in my phone. Hold on, girls. Give me a minute. I got to plug in my phone because it's going to die on me. It's going to die on you. Yeah. Okay. All right. So, my caper chart, the first thing you do is help pack your bag. Okay. The second one I have is help set up your blanket, fort, or tent. Mm -hmm. Okay, the next one I have help set up your sleeping area. I have help, uh, help set up your table. And then we have help make breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Help wash the dishes. And then help make a snack. And then you're going to help set up a game and then play it. Okay. So you can see these are the, this is the caper chart that I have. And a caper chart is basically duties that a girl will do, whether she's out camping or she's in a troop meeting. So your caper chart, when you have a troop meeting, it may look like um, someone has to say the promise. And then... Someone has to say the law, and then someone has to take the attendance. So each girl at the next meeting will get to rotate. They'll take turns on the job. So let's say Ashlyn is going to help pack your bag. So she's going to pack her bag, and then the next time she'll move on to help set up the blanket fort, and so on and so on. So that's a caper chart. So what you're gonna do on your piece of paper is you're going to write your two jobs that you wanna do 
at your camping trip. So if you need your mom or your dad or whoever adult is with you to help you spell out what you want to write, ask them to help you. So remember, we have help pack your bag, help set a blanket for it or a tent, help set up the sleeping area, the table, make breakfast, lunch, and dinner, help wash dishes, help make a snack, and then help set up a game and play it. So go ahead and write down the two that you really want to do today. Here, please take this. Sit up. I'll give you guys a few minutes to write those down. Yeah. I made breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and set up. I feel like I should have music or something. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> I was waiting for you to say that. <laughs> do, 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 <laughs> Okay, so when you're done, Daisies, go ahead and give me your thumbs up. Thumbs up. Almost, okay, I see still girls writing. Thumbs up. Okay. Some girls are still writing, that's okay. Thumbs up. Hold on, thumbs up. Mary, I love your background. <laughs> Well, where is she background? <laughs> you see? <laughs> She's legit camping. <laughs> I love all my girls' backgrounds. I see the tents and the forts. It's awesome. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. We all, girls, you got it. Thumbs up. Almost. Okay, I still, I still see pencils and pens going. That's okay. You know what? Good, good. All right, keep those thumbs up. I'm scrolling through right now pictures to see if you guys are all ready. Okay, thumbs up. Thumbs up. Let me see. Good. Thumbs up. <laughs> the finger up. <laughs> the finger up. Thumbs up. All right. Thumbs up. Okay. All right. So that's your guys' caper chart. So when you guys do go camping with your family or with your troop, you guys can make your caper chart and then you guys take turns on putting up your tents, your sleeping area, help make lunch and breakfast and dinner. So that way everybody gets a chance to help out and enjoy. And you guys can kind of make a game out of this as well, okay? So now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna move on to the next activity. 
And let me get closer to my table. So we are going to talk about the supplies, I believe. Yes. So Miss Ashlyn is going to pull out the supplies that she has in her backpack. <laughs> so Okay, move your iPad. Okay, so Miss Ashlyn's gonna start. Okay, so go ahead, pull out the items and explain why you would need them. This is a hat. <laughs> we need a hat because um, we need your head protected from the sun. And <laughs> Otherwise, you're, you'll get really hot. <laughs> you're gonna get really hot. Okay. This is this is yarn. No, no. This is this is string. Rope. Ro oh my. It's this is rope. This is okay. You need you can, rope because you can pull it apart if you want. I don't want to pull it apart. There you oh. go. See. So that's the rope. This is the rope. Um, you need the rope for. Uh, to hang stuff like trash bags, um, uh, clothes, and yeah, I got shoes. Uh, you need shoes to protect your feet uh, from rocks and other stuff. Are they any type of shoes? No, you have to. No, you have to wear um, clothes. Wait, well, close, yeah, close-toe shoes. Close-toe shoes. Food, that's mine. It's her granola. Wait, show them because they that's didn't that's see. Mine. It's a granola bar, so you want to take snacks. She'd say she has a long pair of socks to help protect her feet. And then she's... What, why would you want to take those type of pajamas? Um, because it might be cold in the night. Because it might be cold in the night. So long pajama bottoms, okay? Even during the summertime, girls, it could still get a little chilly at night. So it's important that you take some long, warm clothes. So Ashlyn's pulling out an extra shirt that she can wear during the day because it's got long sleeves. Why would you want to wear a long shirt when you're out and about during the day? Oh, um, I mean, what if it's still going to be cold and, like, uh, okay, I don't. If it's going to be cold or to help protect you from the sun mm. and bug bites, remember? Oh, yeah, bug bites. <laughs> From the <laughs> from bug bites. from the help to keep the bugs away to help pr protect the sun and to help protect your arm just in case you're going hiking and you want to yeah scratch up. One more string. rope. So she's got a pair of pants that she's pulling out that she can wear during the day. Okay. All right, what else do you got in there? <laughs> what else is in there? I got bug spray. She's got bug spray. Why would you need bug spray, Ashlyn? There's a great reason why. <laughs> because it, it, it helps you per, uh, protect you from bugs. Otherwise, if you don't have bug spray, they're going to go like... <laughs> <laughs> They're gonna slurp on you. <laughs> and then uh, we got sunscreen. What? The sun, you need you. The sun's gonna heal, or huh? The sun is gonna burn you, and you're gonna become a um um a fried uh, Kentucky fried chicken. No. <laughs> <laughs> you're gonna become Kentucky fried chicken. If you don't put sunblock on, you're gonna get sunburned. And you can turn a super, like with me and Ashlyn, we get super red. So that's why we always put sunblock on. 
So she's pulling out one of her nightgowns that's got long sleeves on it because at nighttime, we don't know if it's gonna be chilly or warm, but it's still good to prepare ourselves. Okay, so what else is in there? A trash bag. What is a trash bag used for? For a raincoat. We, right. So if you have a raincoat, you can definitely take a raincoat, but if you don't, you can use a trash bag. So you can actually cut a hole at the uh, cut a hole at the top and put it over you, and it'll help protect you from the rain. Hand sanitizer, very, 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 <laughs> very important. Hand sanitizer, yes. Okay. All right. What's next? Oh, I see some girls have some hand sanitizer <laughs> on. This. <laughs> this is a thermometer. Thermometer. This is a thermometer. This is a thermometer. <laughs> so tells the temperature. Let me see. Let me zoom in. So that's the temperature. Okay, and then the other side of it. The other side is a compass. It's a compass. And then what else is it? It's a whistle. Why would you want to have a whistle? If in case a girl gets lost. Just in case a girl gets lost or hold on. Or if a girl gets hurt, the other Daisy can blow the whistle. Don't blow it too loud. Go ahead. Go ahead. There. I can't even blow it. <laughs> there. So she's got a compass on there too, so that way it can help her with directions. Okay. So why? What would we put all this stuff in? What would you need? A backpack. So door, door, door. Show your backpack. This falling apart. But it's her backpack. What else do you need? Because you're missing something essential. Nope, it's blue. It's blue. It's blue right there, right there by your backpack. Oh, it's not blue, mom. Okay. It's turquoise. Oh, turquoise. Why would you need to take that? Because. What is it for? It's a water jug. It's, it's her wa water. It's her water. It's <laughs> water jug. So that's a big jug for her to take. But that's what she needs. Okay, so I we. Got the sleeping bag. Oh. It's all lonely over there. Right. So then <laughs> you need to take a sleeping bag. So she's got hers all rolled up in the case for it. Uh, if you don't have sleeping bags, that's fine. You can take blankets and just roll them up with you. So there are a few supplies that we don't have in Ashlyn's backpack um, because they're stored away right now. One being a flashlight. So definitely, definitely girls, you wanna take a flashlight. You can either have the one that you put on, like you carry in your hand, or they actually have really cool. I see some flashlights going on. Can we see? Yeah, some of the down here. So <laughs> if you have a flashlight, that's great. Sometimes they actually have the ones that go on your head. So that way, if at nighttime you have to go to the bathroom really bad, you can just turn on the one on your head. So I see girls who got the flashlight. Right. Good job, girls. Cool. So another thing that you would definitely want to have in your First bag day. or Something if you want to have your parents take is a first aid kit. Okay, girls, it's very important to have one of these with you when you go camping because that way your first aider can help you put band-aids, clean up your, your boo-boos, all that your stuff. Okay. All your owies. So it's very important to have that. Now, when we packed Ashlyn's backpack, of course, we didn't pack everything that you need to go camping because your parents are actually, or your troop leader is going to actually help out with that too. So a big thing when you actually go camping in the outdoors, depending on what kind of camping you're going to go on, is usually you would take a tent. So your troop leader or your parent will have their tents, their sleeping bags, their blankets, their pillows, all that, all the supplies they would need. But for you, Daisies, you can actually help out by packing your own bag with all the stuff that Ashlyn pulled out of hers. So your water bottle, your warm clothes, your hat, if you have a whistle, sunscreen. your sunscreen, bug spray. your Ooh. bug spray for sure, okay? <laughs> so does anyone, if you have something that I don't have or that Miss Ashlyn doesn't have,
can you raise your hand and I'll unmute you. What do you girls have that we don't? Anybody? I'm looking for the hands. So everybody's got a hat. Oh, wait, okay. Hold on, I see someone. Let's see. I see you. Where'd you go? Let me look for you and I'll unmute you. Unmute. Let's see. Oops. Give me a minute, girls. I see your hands raised up. I'm trying to unmute you. Oh, there you go. Okay, now you should be able to talk. What's your name? Oh, me, Riley. Yes, Riley. Okay, so Miss Riley, what do you have that Ashlyn doesn't have in her backpack? You're stepping. A stuffed animal. A stuffed animal. Oh, right. Yes, she doesn't. Normally, when Ashlyn goes camping, she does take her stuffed animals. But the thing is, is that her stuffed animal does not fit in her backpack. So it's these huge, like, teddy bear and big hippo that she takes camping. <laughs> so they don't fit in her backpack. But if you guys have a small stuffed animal, something kind of like that, that'll fit. That'll be great for you guys. Okay. <laughs> Just like that one, yes, there you go. Okay, so does anybody else have anything that we didn't include in our backpack? Raise your hand, I'm scrolling through. Oh, okay, I see some more girls. Oh, there's a cute bunny. <laughs> there we go, unmute. Oops. Okay, so hold on, girls. One hour later, do you like? <laughs> so, my Daisy that has the pink tent, go ahead and talk. You should be able to talk, but I think on your end, it's muted. So, can you unmute yours? Do you know where it's at? There you go. She doesn't have a blanket. A blanket? Okay. Very good. You take games. Okay. She doesn't have a game. She doesn't have a game. Correct. Okay. Is there anything else? A pillow. <laughs> a pillow. Right. Okay. Yeah, Mom. All right. No, we still have Okay, so hold on. I see a bunch of girls with more hands raised, so we're gonna go through. And I don't know your guys' names, but I'm gonna say their that's not their name, that might be their parents' name. So oh. the one that says LLB, that's who I'm gonna go to next. Okay, hold on. Let me let me unmute you first. I gotta unmute you. So give me a second, okay, sweetie. Unmute my side. Oh, you're muted on your side. Okay, let me see. Yeah, I unmuted it already, mommy. Oh, you did. There you go. Oh wow! Look at her. She's super smart. <laughs> okay. Um, Let's see. Books. Books help me go to school. What is your name? Um. No. Okay. And you said that you take books? Mm-hmm. Very good. It's nice to read when you go camping, huh? Because it's relaxing? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Very good, sweetie. Okay. So let me go through my page again and see who else has their hand raised. Okay. So I see Adeline. Is that how you say it? The one that's got a blue tent? Yeah. Let, hold on. Let me unmute you, sweetie. Let's go. Um, let me find you on my list. Where is she at? She's probably right like there. Right there. Is that her? That's not how you say it. Yes, that is. With an E. Mom. 
Okay. There. Oh no. Mom, it's right there. Oh. I know. Okay, so try it on unmuting on your side, sweetie. Did it work? Oh, there we go. Okay, now, so what do you have that Miss Ashlyn didn't have in her backpack? A jacket. <laughs> yeah, very good. I couldn't find her sweaters for some reason. Yes, I forgot that, but so a jacket. Amazing. Very good. Okay, so who else wants to share what they have in their backpack that Miss Ashlyn doesn't? Let me scroll through. Oh, there we go. Okay. Hands. So we're gonna go to, we're gonna go to, okay, I don't see a name, but I see Galaxy Tab A, 2016. You gotta unmute on your side, let's see. We're gonna go ahead and just unmute it all. Okay, okay. what's your name? What's your name? Uh oh, I think we kind of froze. So Give me a minute. I got to put my phone, girls. Okay. So the one that has the Galaxy Tab A 2016, what did you pack that Miss Ashlyn didn't pack? Hello. My name is Anna Doe. Uh -huh. Now that's a great introduction. <laughs> and what did you pack? Uh... Uh, headphones. You pack headphones. <laughs> you oh, you nice. packed headphones. That's nice. Ashlyn yeah. likes that one. I okay, love it. <laughs> Ashlyn loves that one. She didn't pack her headphones. Okay, so now we're gonna go down to Miss Eden Perez. So unmute on your side. Okay, go ahead. Um, now I tell me. Brush. You brought a brush? Ah, oh, very good. Yes, that is very important to bring a brush when you go camping. Why would you want to bring a brush? Right, okay. <laughs> Thank you. So, Miss Olivia Davis, that's the name I see in my box. I'm pretty sure that might be your parents' name. Hi, Daisy, you're laying down. It looks like on a pink pillow. Okay, so you gotta unmute it on your side and tell me what you have. Before you can talk, sweetie. You gotta unmute it so you can tell me what you packed in your bag. I know I saw your hand raised. Miss, I see, I see you. Page Green, I'll come to you guys next, okay? There you go, there's your music on. Turn it down a little bit, don't so I'll be able to hear the girls. Okay, there you go, now you can talk. So what are you gonna bring on your camping trip? Um. Batteries for my flashlight. Very good. Yes, you are definitely going to bring batteries for your flashlight. Okay. Thank you. Okay, now we're going over to, I see the name in my corner. It says Paige Green. So what are you going to, what are you bringing, sweetie? I'm bringing my binoculars. You're bringing your binoculars? 
Oh. I bird watch. I <laughs> so you can bird watch. Very good. Yes. Okay. I'm going to go see who else. Okay. Oh, oh look, hold on. So, Katie Haddock. I see your hand raised. I, so, I brought a toothbrush. You brought a toothbrush? Mom. Why are you going to bring a toothbrush? To brush your teeth. To brush your teeth. Very good. Very good. Okay, I'm going to go through and see who else is going to, who's raising their hand. So, give me a minute, girls. And if for some reason you didn't get to share with me what you would pack in your bag. Oh, Galaxy 220 Ultra 5G. Oh, where'd you go? Let me see. There you are. I see you. Go ahead. Say what you're going to tell me what you're going to pack in your backpack. That I see in my corner, it says Galaxy 220 Ultra 5G. I don't see um, the name. Connecting to audio, there you go. Unmute it on your guys' side. What would you bring, sweetie? Oh, are you connected? No. There we go. Let me see. Can you repeat it? Because I didn't hear you. Oh, okay. I think something's going on with the audio, so I can't hear what you're saying. What's my snap? What's my so you, you put it on mute. Unmute it again. Chocolate cake. <laughs> Okay. No. Yeah. So that would be good to bring. Shh. That would be really good to bring. Okay. All right. I'm gonna go to the next girls, and see who else. Okay. So I see Mia. Down in the corner. If this isn't your name, it might be your mom's name. Okay. So what would you bring, sweetie? I would bring hair ties. Hair ties. Why would you want to bring hair ties? Just in case it's too hot. Just in case it's too hot? Oh, very good. Definitely, definitely would want to do that. Okay, so I can't remember her name. Miss, I, I see the Galaxy Tab A, the one that was going to bring the headphones. What do you have? Uh, toothpaste. Toothpaste, right. Definitely want to bring toothpaste. Okay, I'm going to go through again. See? Any hands? Okay, so I see a couple of other girls. Uh, do you not know? Rana Kim, the one that's got a red shirt on and she's sitting at a table. Unmute it on your side. You have to unmute. There you go. Yeah, I unmuted. Okay. Okay. So what would you bring? A pillow. A pillow. Okay. And then, uh, very good. Of course, we wouldn't want to bring a pillow for sure. Now I'm going to go down to, I see, Oliver Mendoza. I know that's not your name, but it's probably your dad's name. So unmute it on your side. What are you going to bring, sweetie? Your name. I'm Elsie. Um, and you can also bring socks. You're going to bring socks? What kind of socks are those? They look like they have characters on them. Small world. Oh, okay. How cute. Okay, so now we're going to move on to, uh, I see Ursula Potas. So unmute it on your side. You got to unmute it. There we go. I'm going to bring a toy. In You're going to bring a toy? Play. Oh, okay. Very good. Yeah, you would definitely want to bring a toy to play, right? What kind of toy would you bring? A unicorn. A unicorn? <laughs> My daughter Ashlyn loves unicorns. <laughs> <laughs> 
Okay. I used to. All right. Hi, girls. Oh, wait. Okay, so Miss Avani Smith. Avani, I wanted to bring a, a rain jacket and a hat. Oh, a rain jacket and a hat? Okay. Very be. good. What did you say it was? A rain jacket and a hat. Okay, a rain jacket and a hat. Okay. So I see Kay Jolene with her hand raised up. You want to unmute it so you can tell me what you would bring? There's like there are three. Oh, you got to unmute it, sweetie. Here comes mom. There we go. Okay. You're going to You're going to bring your stuff, bunny? Yeah. Okay. Does your stuff bunny have a name? Uh, Pinky. Pinky, <laughs> cute. Okay. Uh, I see Miss Mia Maria's iPhone, the one that's laying down on a pink tent and a bunch of pink stuffed animals. Bunch of pink. What would you bring, sweetie? I brought a. I don't know where it is. I brought a book. I brought a um a book that I can write. In. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, so you you brought a journal, yeah. right? And a book so to write in. Okay. Write all the things that I I um I saw. And oh, did. very good. I like that. That's actually a good idea to go ahead and bring a journal you can write in to see all the things you saw. Okay. So, like I said, girls, if I didn't get a chance to talk to you, that's okay. What we can do is when you guys actually meet with your troop, you can tell them all the things that you would pack in your backpack when you go camping. Because we got to move on to the next activity, okay? So, I'm going to make sure on my side that all of the girls are muted. So we don't hear. So it's easier for us to hear and not so echoey. Okay. Ashton, turn off your music. So now we're going to go ahead and we're going to move on to Hi, Doc. Not the rest. Hello, Doc. Hello, Doc. Natasha, we can't hear your speaker. There we go. <clears throat> Can you guys hear me now? Yes. There. Okay. So, girls, if you have your, go ahead and get your shoelaces, your rope, or your yarn or string out, because you're going to practice tying your square knot. Now, in your parents' email, they have a link to show you more on YouTube what exactly it looks like. So you can practice more after this video. So Ashlyn just learned how to do the square knot too. So she might mess up, but that's okay because she can keep trying again. 
And that's the point for you girls to keep trying so you guys understand it and get it. So you're gonna, okay, so Miss Ashlyn's gonna tell you what part is A and what part is B. All right, um, this part right here, this is part A, the one I'm holding up, and then this is part B. So you're going to take A over B, and you take B under A, and just how you're tying your shoes, you're just gonna pull it through like this. Then you're gonna take A over B, A go and A is gonna go through, and then you're gonna pull it like that and turn it over. See, so that's your square knot, girls. Okay, and I know she went through it kind of fast, so we'll do it again and we'll go slow. And like I said, if you need more practice and more help, and the, the email that your parents got has a YouTube video so you can watch it and practice tying the knot. So go ahead and do it really slow. I see girls trying it. You're getting it. Keep trying. All right. First thing, you're going to take a uh, rope A. You're going to place it over rope B. No, no, under rope B. You're going to take rope B. You're going to take it under rope A. You're going to go through. You're going to take rope A, and then you're going to go, uh, rope A is going to go under B. You're going to pull through. Oh, I kind of messed up oh, there on ooh. that one. That's ooh. okay. So we're going to do it again. <sighs> okay. <clears throat> you're going to take rope A over rope B. You're going to take rope B under rope A. Ooh. <laughs> pull through. You're going to take rope A and go across um, from rope B. You're going to take rope A, rope B. <laughs> and then you're going to pull rope A through. And then you're going to go like that. Let me see. I think turn it over. Yep. There you go. That's yep. the square knot. Okay. So I see some girls got it. Very good. So I see. That's good. I know learning this new thing still without having to see it, like us in person can be hard. Okay. Can we do it again? So do it again. Oh, okay. So I'll have Ashlyn do it one more time. <laughs> All right. This on, right paper. here is rope A, and this is rope B. You are going to take rope A over rope B. Mm, oh, wait, yeah. You're going to take rope B under rope A, and you're going to pull it through. You are going to take rope A over rope B. You're going to pull rope A un and you're put rope A under rope B. You are going to pull through rope A. And then, like you're tying um, your shoes, shoe laces, you're going to pull pull through like that. <laughs> and that's your guys' knot. Okay. So, like I said, I know <clears throat> that it's going to be take some time to practice, and that's okay because even our older girls still need time to practice their knots. So, again, please look back at that YouTube video. I see you guys trying, and I see the knots up in the in the corner of the video is very good girls i see them <clears throat> so you guys keep practicing <coughs> with those okay <laughs> so that's our knots that's our knots, okay so that's your camp skill and the reason why you learn to do knots is because with our forts here we actually had to use a, a piece of rope to actually tie our fort together so you can see that we have a knot over here and then we had to tie another knot to the middle okay so that's important why you guys need to do your square knot and other knots so as you get older and you move up to girl scout when you move up the levels you guys actually get to learn different more um harder knots and you get to practice those 
So now we're going to go ahead and we're going to move on to building our forts. So everybody's forts and our tent is going to look different and that's okay. That's the great thing about it. So our four lies are clothespins. We have some extra sheets. She's got stuffed animals. Um, we included some twinkle lights. <clears throat> so Ashlyn is going to put up the last part of her forts, her sheets. And she can stand on the couch, that's fine, but you gotta get your parents' permission first before you start jumping on the furniture. If it falls off, we'll fix it. Here, you can pull the sheet so you have more. You got it? Almost. She's got one more to pin up and then, oh, two more to pin up and then she's done with her fork. Got it? Okay. okay, so Miss Ashton completed her fort and she's got all kinds of stuff. So she's got her sheets hanging up, she's got her stuffed animals and her. So for your guys' fort and our tent, you guys can actually, because the last part of your bag is to actually go camping. So now what you're going to do is you're going to enjoy your fort and, and or tent with your daisy friend or your siblings or your family and have a little family or friend together. So Ms. Ashlyn's actually going to sit and watch one of her movies that she likes and she actually picked out Thumbelina. But you guys can also play a game or, you know, eat dinner or eat a snack okay so that was ashlyn's fort <clears throat> that was the last step girls to actually completing your badge so for the rest of the afternoonish or evening depending on what your parents say you guys can leave up your fort and your tent and just hang out and have a good day you can draw in there play a game um watch a movie cuddle up eat dinner eat lunch Okay, so I'm going to flip it back to me and <clears throat> we're going to do this. All right, girls, if any parents have any questions, they can go and raise their hand. What we're going to do is if your daughter didn't get finished all of the steps or didn't able wasn't able to join the meeting, we're actually going to send those steps out to you in an email. That way they can complete them all. So I want to say thank you for coming. Let's scroll through really quick to see if any parents have questions. I don't see screens. They might be building their forts. Okay. Do you want to have them raise their hand if they have a question? 
I can't so, so some of the screens I can't see. So I don't know if they're building their or what happened. I can see I see girls, but that was it. Adam's house. Yeah. No, I don't see anybody with their hands raised. Awesome okay. fourth um, out there, girls. Oh, LLB has her hand raised. Okay, let me get. Actually, be um like camping out and like sleeping in the fort. Oh yeah. So if you guys want to sleep in the fort or your tent in the living room, and it's okay with your mom and dad or whoever that you live with, then go for it. Because actually, over the weekend, me and my husband <clears throat> we slept in our fort too. So it was really fun. <laughs> and Anne Marie has a question. Okay. What's the question, sweetie? Um who, who gets the badges that um <clears throat> Okay, so for the badges, once you guys actually complete your forts or you do an activity or you sleep in your fort uh, you can get at the stores when the stores open in or you can actually order them online and right now we have through our online store it's free shipping okay okay so miss galaxy tab a the one that has the headphones that she wants to bring camping okay. i see um, i'm gonna shut this off because it's basically over and we need to go to your mountain charter thing bye right. jake Jolene. okay Jolene. bye bye that's me um Okay, so Miss Galaxy Tab A, the 2016, I see your hand raised, sweetie. You gotta unmute it on your side. There you go. Okay, unmute it. Good job. Um, do you have to be in the fort all day? No, you don't have to be in the fort. <laughs> you don't okay. have to be in the fort all day if you don't want to. But I would like for you to complete like an activity. So if you want to read or watch a movie or play a game, then you can go ahead and do that. And then you've completed your badge, okay? Okay. Okay. So Mary, do you see any other questions? Because mm, some of my screens. Mean, let me check. The, oh, Adeline, I can't tell if she's just holding her phone or if she has a question. Do you have a phone, a question, Adeline? Can you unmute your phone? She looks like she's got her tent set up in the backyard. I know some of them do. That's really cool. Some of them actually have their tent in their living room too. I like that. Awesome. Okay. So is there any? So it looks like Riley's mom is in the screen. Does mom have a question? You're muted right now. Yeah. Okay. Uh, no, I don't. She was just trying to figure out what was, what was going on. <laughs> ah, <okay. laughs> We're all trying to figure it out, too. It's okay. <laughs> you guys did great. This is our first virtual DAISY activity, and we appreciate all of you joining us. It was so awesome. I loved watching all your creative things. Yes, and Miss Mary is actually my coworker. And if you see Miss Candace on the screen, she's my supervisor. So these ladies are actually, and I think Karina was in here too. These ladies are actually working in the same department as me. And so they're gonna be hosting other virtual meetings later on for other things. So, but Daisy, thank you. I see snack eating, so go whole. I'm hungry. I want to eat some snacks too. <laughs> so thank you girls for coming. I hope you enjoy your fort. And then I will see you guys next time, okay? So, adios. Bye, girls. You can, thank you for coming. Bye. 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 Bye-bye. Bye-bye.